A Denver woman thought she was getting a great deal when she hired a company to scrub her home. What she got was an entirely different mess to clean up. She called Contact 7's Jason Grenauer to keep the next customer from being taken to the cleaners. Wanted to have a housewarming party to have friends over just to see my house. And Sarah Moore wanted her condo to look nice. I had been getting coupons in the mail from Handy.com. An app-based cleaning company that pays regular people to do a job on demand, similar to Uber. I bought a package of three monthly cleanings. Her pair of cleaners arrived late and did not stay for the three-hour minimum. And in less than an hour, both of them were leaving. And leaving behind. This is a photo of the bathroom. It definitely did not clean clean in the corner. They did not clean it all behind the toilet. There's still dirt and hair. But you can distinctly see like mud spots. Upset, Sarah went online. What she found, dozens of one-star reviews on Google and Yelp. On Nextdoor, multiple neighbors commented that handy cleaners canceled or did a subpar job. And their BBB profile? It shows how the company had to pay mandatory restitution to customers in Washington, D.C. after cleaners stole property or never showed up. Call that a rip off. The company sent us a statement which reads in part, we regret any negative customer experiences in the Denver area and have worked to make sure that they were fully addressed to the customer's satisfaction. I think they're really marketing hard in Denver and I want people to know. After no success with customer service, Sarah ultimately got out of her three month contract by contacting the company through Facebook. Contact she doesn't plan on having with Handy ever again. In Denver, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.